Hi guys, it's me again, Mr. Kevin, and today we are going to do a literacy lesson about the responsibility of pet ownership. We are also going to compare the basic needs of the animals to our own. But before we do that, we need the following materials. We are going to need two pieces of paper. We are going to need a pencil. Then we're going to need crayons or markers. I'm going to suggest crayons first, but if you prefer markers, that's okay. Then we're going to need tape and scissors. Again, the following materials that you're going to need for today's lesson are two pieces of paper, right there, a pencil, crayons or markers, tape, and scissors. I'm going to play a brief video while you, go, while you guys go gather that material, okay? And then the video will be done and we can get started with the lesson. See you soon! Do you have a pet? Yes, I have a dog. I have a pet. He is a dog. And he says woof, 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 woof. I have a cat. I have a pet. She is a cat. And she says meow, 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 meow. I have a mouse. I have a pet. He is a mouse. And he says squeak, 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 squeak. Woof, woof. Meow, meow. Squeak, squeak. I have a bird. I have a pet. He is a bird. And he says tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. I have a fish. I have a pet. She is a fish. And she says glup, 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 glup. I have a lion. A lion? I have a pet. He is a lion. And he says roar, roar, roar. Uh, now that we gather those materials, why don't we set them aside and I'm going to um, read you Muddy Paul's Goes to School by Peter Bentley. <clears throat> Muddy Paul's Goes to School. Ben and his puppy Muddy Paul's did everything together. They played inside and explored outside. At the end of the day, they cuddled up together. Wherever Ben went, Muddy Paws went too. Except for school, smiled Ben, as Muddy Paws burst a bubble and my bath. The next day, Ben was late for school. See you later, Muddy Paws, he cried. Uh-oh, but Ben forgot to shut the gate. And wherever Ben goes, I go too, Muddy Paws thought. When Muddy Paws padded into school, he couldn't see Ben anywhere. He frolicked merrily to the nature corner. 
and walloped off to the painting corner. Squish went the red, squirt went the yellow and green, squirt went the blue. What fun, thought Muddy Paws. What a mess, gasped the teacher. But where was Muddy Paws? Muddy Paws was looking for Ben in the schoolyard. He didn't find Ben, but he found a shovel. But I could dig with my paws, he thought. Scritch scratch, scritch scratch, scritch scratch. Muddy Paws dug and dug and dug. Digging is hard work, Muddy Paws yawned. Here's a nice cozy place for a nap. Oh no, gasped the teacher at recess. Who has made all this mess? They buried the flowers in the sand. Muddy Paws woke with a bump. Whee, he thought. I'm going for a ride. Maybe I'll find Ben on the way. Ben was upside down on the jungle gym. Hey, he said, that wagon has a tail. But when he looked again, the wagon was empty. Muddy Paws had sniffed something tasty. Yummy, a snack. Back in class, Amy started to sob. She lost her toy puppy, said Ben. Don't worry, Amy, said the teacher. We'll all help to find it. The children hunted inside. And outside. Here it is, Amy, cried Ben. What was Amy giggling at? You found my puppy, smiled Amy. And you found mine, laughed Ben. Hello, Muddy Paws. What are you doing in school? Muddy Paws trotted home with Ben proudly, wearing the star that the teacher made him. My teacher says your name should be Mischief, not Muddy Paws, said Ben. But I love you just the same. The end. That was a really good book. It showed how Ben took responsibility for his pet. He took care of him. They exercised. They bathed. Um, but he did one minor bad thing. And that is he left the gate open. And Muddy Paul's got out. Unfortunately, it was a good day for him. And he had a good adventure. So why don't we review the story? Did Ben show love towards Muddy Paws? Yes, he did. Just like you and I, we get affection from our parents. And Ben, the guardian of Muddy Paws, got love from Ben. Did Ben, did ben play with Muddy Paws? Yes, they played both inside and outside. Did Ben give Muddy Paws exercise? I'm sure he did when they went outside. He had a leash in the one picture. Did Ben share his bath with Muddy Paws? No. Ben said, Muddy Paws does not go to school with him, or they don't share a bath. Did Muddy Paws have a special day? He did. He had a really fun day, and he got a gold little star on his collar and tag. So let's take some time and think about the things that we humans need to survive. We have a lot of things, but there are three basic needs that we need to survive. Do you know what they are? Good job. We need food to survive. We also need water to survive and shelter. They are the three basic needs we need to survive. There are other things that we like, like toys, video games, books, they're luxuries. But do animals need that stuff too? They do. Just like you and I, we all have to drink water, 
and we, as pet owners, need to provide that water for our pets. Just the same thing with their food. We have to provide food for them, just as our parents provide food for us. And when we get older, we provide the food and water for ourselves. Now we have a shelter. We live in a house and we invite our animals to come into the house. So that is their shelter. Sometimes if they're an outside animal, you can get a dog house or whatever type of animal you have and that could be outside as well. So, is there a difference between animals and domestic animals and wild animals? Yes, wild animals can provide food, water, and shelter on their own. They have that basic instinct to know how to survive. There are other ways pets need to have affection. We show them that they're happy, we pet them, we call them good boy, just like our parents say good job when we get a good grade in our test. Pets need to play, so we need to take care of our pets by buying toys and balls and take them out for walks. We need leashes and all that type of stuff. Pets also need love and affection. So we tell our pets that we love them, we let them sleep with us, we give them belly rubs, we pet them, we comb them, we brush them. That shows that we are giving our pets the care and attention that they need. And just like you and I, pets need to visit the doctor as well. A doctor that takes care of pets is called a veterinarian. Most importantly, if you do have an animal that can go inside or outside, they should wear a collar. And on that collar, they should have an ID badge. And the only little ID badge should be your dress, just in case they get lost. Just like in the story Mighty Paws, he wore a collar and an ID. If he didn't find Ben and someone else found him on the street, they would know where to return Ben based on his collar. Nowadays, with all modern technology, you can microchip your dog. And the PSPCA can scan it and it'll tell you exactly where the dog lives and they can return it home safely. Now we discussed a lot of things that the animals need and we need. So think of everything that we talked about that we need that matches what animals need and we're gonna draw those items. So first, let's say we're gonna go with a dog. So we're gonna draw a dog together. I'm gonna to show you how to draw a dog and then we're gonna discuss the things that we already mentioned and how to draw them on this piece of paper. Um, okay, so for a dog, it's gonna be, I drew on the other side just so you can see a little bit. You wanna basically start, uh, hold it like this, it's gonna be a little complicated, with the head. So you wanna kind of get this lump like that. And then you wanna draw the snout a little bit. Kind of like that. See, it's starting to look like a dog. And then you're gonna bring that neck down, like so. Kind of looks like a duck. Um, and then we're going to, you're gonna leave a little space here for the one leg to come through. So then we're gonna draw this little belly, like so. Then we're gonna leave another little space for the back leg. And come back up and connect. So that's the start of our dog. We're then going to draw a tail. I drew it wagging, like so. And we're going to draw the back leg. Do a back leg like that. Draw the front leg. like so. And then we're going to draw the other two legs that are on the other side. So in order to do that, you just draw a little shorter version of it there. And you want to give it a little bit of shade just because the light won't hit it. And then same thing in the front, like so. 
So now we have four legs for the dog, a wagon tail. And this is his body. Then we're going to draw his ears. In order to do that, all you got to do is draw like a little, like flat, like that. We want to color this leg too. Sorry. Let's say I colored that. I shaded those two back legs just to show you that it's farther away. Then we're going to draw the snout. So at the tip, right here, we're going to draw the little black nose. Like so. I'm going to have his tongue sticking out. Like so. See, there's his little tongue, and then I drew like a little connecting piece for his bottom jaw. And we're going to draw his eyes and an eyebrow with little freckles, like so, where his whiskers might be. And that's your basic dog. Okay. We'll come back and later, later color these, but first let's get all the images that we need to take care of this dog. One of the basic needs that we talked about was water. So we're going to draw, and food. <laughs> so we're going to draw his water bowl and his food bowl. So in order to do that, we're going to draw two little ovals. I'm going to draw them a little bit bigger. They don't have to be this big. I'm just drawing them big so you guys can see. So we want to draw two circles, or ovals, right there. Like so. And then we're going to connect at an angle on both of them. Like so. And then we're going to round the bottom. So it's going to look, it's going to be weird upside down. Like that. And there are two bowls. So how we can show the difference we're going to grab a blue crayon or marker and color the one in blue so we know that's the water, like so. And then the other one, let me get that for you. I need brown. I'm going to grab a brown crown and just kind of make circles. Can't really see that. I'm going to make circles like this. And that's going to represent the food. So we talked about shelter, but that is our other page. The two shelters that we already have on the inside outside is the inside of our house, which is one shelter. And then on the outside, I drew a dog house. So that would be his outside shelter. But what are some of the other needs? Well, we said dogs have to visit the doctor. So sometimes they need medicine. So why don't we draw like a little medicine bottle? In order to do that, we are going to draw two straight lines up and down, like so, around top, just like the water bowl, and come down, like so, like that. Then we're going to round the bottoms, just like the water bowl again, like that. Put a little label. And there you go. We're going to say that is medicine. Another important thing is the collar and leash. So we're going to start with the leash. And for the leash, all you got to do is kind of make a squiggly line and then match that squiggly line like so. We're going to match this. It's going to be hard to do going this way. And that will be our leash for right now. You can draw a little hook on the bottom, like so. Then our dog needs a collar and an ID tag. So measure his neck. I measure with my fingers. And it's kind of like that. So I just kind of want to took the measurements like that and then drew that same size. For that, we're going to draw our collar. And all I did was just kind of draw like a little rectangle but curved it a little bit and then on this part on the bottom corner we're going to draw a little tag so you can just draw a little circle and that would be his tag 
what else can we do? We, well, dogs need something to chew on, correct? So why don't we draw um, a dog bone? And the easiest way to draw a dog bone, it doesn't matter that which way we're drawing, is to draw, it looks like the number three, a backwards three. And then we're going to do the same thing, opposite on the other side. So we have a three and a backwards three, like that. Then we're going to bring them in a little bit more and connect them like so. And that is your dog bone. Like I said, I'm drawing my pictures a lot bigger. They don't have to be this size. It is up to you. You guys have creative license to draw how big you would like. Um, we're also going to draw. We like toys as humans, and dogs need toys to keep exercise and something to do with. So let's draw a ball. For that, you're going to draw a circle. We'll draw kind of like a baseball or like a big tennis ball. Like so. I just drew these two little slines and then little stitching right there, and that could be a ball. Um, what about treats? We like snacks between meals or um, as a reward, we do something good, we get candy. Um, so why don't we draw something that dogs can eat? Dogs can eat chocolate, but they can get a treat. So we can draw a begging strip. So a begging strip, again, it looks like bacon. I just kind of, it's like a smaller little leash looking thing. We'll call that our begging strip. What else do we need? We need, uh, oh, yes. So, when your dog makes a mess, we need a pooper scooper to pick up the poop and put it in a bag. So we can draw a pooper scooper. It's gonna be just like a shovel looking thing. It's my pooper scooper. And what else do we need? Oh, we talked about a brush. So why don't we draw a brush? In order to draw a brush, I want you to draw the handle first. So kind of like a little U. And then we are going to bring it up a little bit higher, just to one side. Kind of like making a bubble F. But we're just going to go like that. See the L? Kind of like an upside down L. And then we're just going to do that. And that would be our dog brush. Now, I want you to take the time to think of anything else. Um, when any of the videos we are watching, you can think of another thing that a pet might need. Draw that on this board. And then you can color it later. Once you do that, you can cut those items out. Once you cut them out, you're going to place these, whether they belong on the inside or outside. And this is what my final project will look like. As you can see, I put the dog food on the inside, the treats, the brush, the medicine. I hung the leash up. Um, I kind of made it a little 3D by taping, making a round piece of tape and sticking the dog behind there. Put the ball on the inside. Uh, I put his bone outside, and I put the pooper scooper and all by the trash can. So we need all this to take care of pets. It's a lot of responsibility to taking care of a pet. Um, if you do want to adopt pets, there's a ton of places that you can go. You can go to a Humane Society, you can go to the PSPCA, or you can go to a store. But I do recommend adopting a pet because those dogs and cats and whatever they have there do need homes for people to love and cherish. So right now, I am going to play the final video, but that is for it for me for today's lesson. Um, and this video will end it up. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. My name is B, like the letter B. Mm -hmm. This is Meta the brown bear, and this 
Ooh. is my little pet dog, Sweet Pea. And today, we are going to learn how to take care of a pet. I love my little pet, Sweet Pea. She's so kind and gentle. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we list all the animals that could be our pets? Do you want to do that? Okay, you could have a dog as a pet, or a cat, a fish, a bird, a hamster, a guinea pig, a snake, a lizard, or you could even have a rabbit as a pet. There are so many different kinds of pets. Do you have a pet? What kind of pet do you have? Wow! Now, if you don't have a pet, that's okay too. Not everybody has a pet. Owning a pet comes with a lot of responsibilities and jobs to help keep your pet safe and happy. Oh, would you like to learn what I do to take care of my pet dog, Sweet Pea? You would? Okay. In front of us are all the things I use to take care of my dog, Sweet Pea. First, our pets need to be fed food and water every single day. I use this light blue bowl for water and this orange bowl for dog food. Sweet Pea, are you thirsty? Would you like something to drink or something to eat? Let's see. This water right here, put it in the bowl, good, and now we'll take some dog food and we'll put it in this bowl. All right, Sweet Pea, are you hungry? Okay, let's see if she's hungry. She is hungry. Next, I need to make sure that my dog goes to the bathroom in the morning and at night. She also lets me know when she has to go to the bathroom during the day as well. Now, we also have to make sure that our pets get a lot of exercise and play. I use this purple leash in front of me. Oh, you know what that is, Sweet Pea? Yeah to take Sweet Pea on a walk every single day. Now we take this little hook on the leash and we cook it right here onto her collar. Then I can hold on to the purple leash while Sweet Pea takes a walk. One of the most important things you need to know about having a pet is that you have to be very, very gentle. Mm -hmm. No matter what kind of pet you have, a lizard, a hamster, mm -hmm. a bird, a cat, mm -hmm. a dog, you have to be very gentle with them. You cannot poke them or pull them or push them. You have to be very, very gentle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you pet your pet, you have to do it very softly. Mm -hmm. Like this. You see that? Mm. I'm being very gentle and kind. Mm. She likes that. Mm -hmm. Do you see how calm she is? You see that, Meta? Mm -hmm. mm. You want to try? Mm -hmm. Okay, go for it. Mm. Oh, good job, Meta. Mm. That was very soft. You see, you have to be very gentle with your pet. And the last thing that you need to do when you have a pet, and it's very, very important, is to give them lots of love and attention. Mm -hmm. Pets are just like us. They need to be loved and they need attention. Mm -hmm. You can gently hug your pet, you can play with your pet, mm. you can talk to your pet, you can even sing mm. your pet a song. Mm. Oh, I have a brush right here 
Sweet Pea mm. loves to be brushed. Mm. It makes her feel so happy. You see that? Mm. Sweet Pea loves this. Mm. Are you happy right now, Sweet Pea? Are you happy? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It looks like Sweet Pea is getting very tired. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put her in her bed so she can take a nap. Mm -hmm. Come on, Sweet Pea. Mm -hmm. Do you know what time it is? Mm -hmm. It's time to dance. This is where we stop what we're doing, stand up, and dance. You can do whatever dance move you feel like doing. Oh, do you hear that? <laughs> it's the idea train. <laughs> oh, and look, it's Pinky the Boombox. Hi, Pinky the Boombox. <laughs> okay. Thank you, idea train. <laughs> All right. I will put Pinky right here. Pinky plays our music. We take this green cassette tape and we put it in here. And we close it up. Then we will push the button with the triangle on it, mm. the play button. Are you ready to dance? <laughs> yes? Okay, I'm going to push the button now. Fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. Mita, mm. I have a surprise for mm. you. Do you hear that? Mm. It's the idea train. <laughs> and look, mm. Mita, it's a goldfish. Wow. Okay, let's put this goldfish right here. Thank you, Idea Train. <laughs> wow, Mita, look at that. It's swimming all around inside its bowl. Mita, I would like to give you mm. this goldfish mm. as your first pet. Mm. Would you like to take on the responsibilities mm. and the jobs taking care of this fish? Mm -hmm. You would? Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember, you have to, one, feed your fish mm -hmm. every single day. This is fish food. And you also have to clean his bowl every now and then. And you have to give it lots of love and respect. Be very gentle with the fish. Don't poke the bowl, don't hit the bowl, don't touch the fish. You can give it love mm. by talking to him mm -hmm. or singing him a song. Mita, would you like to feed your fish right mm -hmm. now? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna open this up and inside mm. is some fish food. Get just a tiny little bit. You see that? and we'll put it in the bowl. Wow, look at that, Mita. The food is floating on top of the water. Do you think the fish will eat the food? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Hey, Mita, I have a question for you. Mm. What would you like to name your fish? Mm. What's that? 
Jada? Mm. Whoa, that's a great name. Jada. Jada the goldfish. <laughs> wow. That was a lot of fun mm. learning how to take care of a pet. If you want to watch more Meta videos, search Meta's name. <gasps> do you know how to spell Meta's name? Mm. Let's do it together. Mm -hmm. M A Y T A. Meta. Mm. Then type the brown bear. Thank you so much for spending your time with Meta mm. and myself and learning how to take care of a pet. Until next time, bye! Mm. Now would be a great time to put our discussion and our thoughts down to paper. So what we're going to need is take one sheet of the paper of the two. We're going to take this one blank sheet and fold it in half. Just like so. So now we have two equal parts. Once you do that, you're going to need a pencil, marker, or crayon. I'm going to take a black crayon. And at the bottom of the paper, we're going to write inside, just like so, inside, I-N-S-I-D-E, inside. And on the other one, we're going to write outside. Outside. O-U-T-S-I-D-E. And in the center, up here, going across the line, we're going to write, My Pet's Life. Or, either or. Doesn't have to be centered, could be an either or, but I'm going to put it in the center right now. My Pet's Life. My, M-Y, Pet. P-E-T, apostrophe S, pets, life, L-I-F-E. So do you know what we're going to do with this? So for the inside, we're going to draw the inside of a house. And then for the outside, we're going to draw an outside of the house. So you can take your time. You can pause here and do that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead a little bit. Um, I already have mine drawn. As you can see, I have inside and outside. Um, my pet's life. This is the inside of the house once you walk through the stairs. This is the inside. And this is the outside, as you can tell with the sun, the birds, the clouds, the little doghouse outside. Once you have completed that, you can put that to the side. We're going to look at house pets today. Pets. Dog. The dog is man's best friend. What animal makes this sound? It's a cat. The cat chases little things away. <laughs> hamster. The hamster is an active pet. One, two, three. Hamster. Chameleon. The chameleon is a pet that can change colors. The turtle is a slow pet. Fish. A fish tank is so much fun to watch. Parrot. Parrots can say people words. Well, I want to crack off. 
snake. The snake is a smooth pet. <laughs> rabbit. The rabbit is a soft pet. Thanks for looking at the house pets today. Come back again soon. Little Tina TV.